Hey, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Got a little project going on here at the house. Uh, I wanted to show you folks uh, kind of a hodgepodge type deal. Uh, it, uh, I've kind of made it out of everything that I had laying here at the house because I didn't really want to go out and buy all that stuff. But anyway, I am building, or I am building a gold dredge, an electric gold dredge. And I'll show you, uh, show you what it looks like. Hadn't finished it, but I'm working on it. Here you go, right here. What I've done is I have gone out and purchased the uh, uh, 13 inch, <clears throat> excuse me, 13 inch balloon tires. I've made my own axle for the front right up here. In the back is the regular factory axles right under here. I built seven and a half inch risers to uh, pick it up off of the ground where it wouldn't drag or anything. The foam piece that you see right here is actually a float uh, that goes all the way underneath the cart to the front, right up in here. And what's that made out of is a uh, uh, cutting board, plastic cutting board with two cell, clo or closed two cell foam in it. And then on the very top of it, He's got flex seal, so that ought to make it pretty watertight. The frame of it, this part right here and right here, is actually um, ramps, aluminum ramps that I had for the bed of my pickup that I've never used. They've been in my garage for 10 years. So anyway, uh, this is one ramp right here on the very bottom, and I cut it off the length I want it. The sides is another ramp that I cut in half to make my side rails. <clears throat> and then I had a little bit of high, a little high banker uh, with a uh, sluice on the bottom. I mounted it. It's got adjustments here, here, and under here. And then what I'm doing is bringing my water in is my dredge hose will come in here and come out right here. So I'm going to have water pumping through here, through my dredge hose. I also have a secondary pump. It's going to be hooked into my spray bar and then also underneath my high banker and you never can't have enough water on these things as far as i'm concerned and then for my trough uh, of course i got my little grizzly right here and my trough i took a piece of this uh, cutting board also and just put an arch in it right here and screwed it down kind of bent it up a little bit that way when the tailings come off they're just going to come off right here up front <laughs> just stuff i had laying around a little expandable handle right here and you can pull it out turn your axles no problem put your handle back down push it up out of the way this thing should float on the water hopefully <laughs> i hadn't tried that part yet but anyway i'm gonna finish wiring up the pumps and stuff and, and uh get all the uh piping done on the pumps uh, I am running a 100 amp lithium battery on it <clears throat> and I have used this battery on my trolling motor which is an XI3 uh, with the uh, um, uh, anchor lock and all that stuff on it and I have run it on my boat for two days without even charging so I know it's going to carry these pumps uh, one of them is 1100 uh, gallon out of gallons per hour and the other one is like a 1700 and 50 gallons per hour and the the small one will take care of my high banker and sluice box and my big one's going to take care of my dredge hose my dredge hose that i'm using this on this particular one is going to be an inch and a half and the suction will be down at the nozzle end once i get it all put together but anyway uh just a heads up keep your eye open as soon as i finish it i'm going to take it down to the lake put it in and uh, give it a whirl, see how it goes, see what kind of modifications I have. I may have to put some weights on it to kind of hold it down a little bit. I don't know yet. But anyway, for you guys who's wanting to uh, build your own gold dredge, here's some ideals for you. I hope it uh, kind of sparks something in you uh, to where you can kind of build your own. Uh, also, to the valves back here, this one hose is coming from the small pump. It splits off, goes, you know, two different directions, which is here. <clears throat> and then there's going to be another one coming off here this one 
uh, one side is actually going to go to my dredge holes. The other one's going to be a wash down so I can wash down my high banker and then wash out my mat also. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, stay tuned. I got some more videos coming out. As soon as I finish it, it goes in the water and we'll see what happens from that point. Be sure and subscribe. Ring the bell. Hit the like button. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks.